What's up guys, it's me Alan, I'm back on the video. And we've got another 124 scale NASCAR diecast review, courtesy of my buddy King, who sent me these 164 scale diecasts to go along with the 124 scale diecast that I got. So this next one is Kyle Larson's 2018 Credit One Bank uh, Patriotic Car. Uh, you can tell because of the background and I'll get zoom that in a little bit more. But, oh, would you look at that? This one doesn't roll all that well. And you can tell because holy sheesh, look at the back. You can see through that. That rear axle is way too goddamn low. Holy fucking hell. Sheesh. Wow. <laughs> I, I actually know what it looks like to me from my vantage point is either the no the bottom the chassis itself is too low because you can see part of it stick you can kind of see a little bit sticking out underneath the bumper um it's not lined up right in the back and uh yeah that's why the the the, uh, the the axle in the back is so freaking low. Holy sheesh. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen one that bad. God damn. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of, not really loose window, but a little bit. Uh, this one, aside from that, this one honestly looks the cleanest out of um, the five that I've, or out of the three that I've looked at so far. And I've still got two other Kyle Larson's, Kyle Larson die casts to look at. Uh, but of course, this comes from 2018. Um, this this one, I think, out of all of them, this is the only one that came from the Gold Series because name banner on the back. Um, all the other ones look to have come out of the uh, Authentics line uh, at one point in time or another. But again, my God, <laughs> what a gap. Holy sheesh. Like, we talk about Kyle Larson having gapping a lot of the field in some of the races that he won this year. Now that's a gap. <laughs> when you can see through when you can see from one side to the other and see something past it, you know that they, they, they fucked up. Also, shout out these frauds, DC Solar. Hashtag frauds. Literally. Um, actually, the guy that led DC Solar um, recently uh, got his got his conviction. Um, he's going to be spending a lot of time in jail for all that fraud, and it still boggles my mind to this day how like how the hell did Warren Buffett get caught up in that? Because it, uh, Slap Shoes, when he did his first uh, Liars, Thieves, and Lawyers video, um, towards the end of it, he talked about DC Solar. Now, DC Solar, before they were raided, uh, there was the issue that Brennan Poole brought, Brennan Poole brought up the issue that, um, that there was a conspiracy against him because DC Solar wanted to bring that funding that he had in the Xfinity series with Ganassi up to Cup and this and that or whatever. That ended up going nowhere. But then, of course, you have when they did get raided... Uh, the, the fact that DC Solar basically, it, it fucked over Ross Chastain. In the end, though, he's doing well for himself because he ended up contending for a truck championship after redeclaring for points that season. Uh, he did pretty decently in college equipment. And then he's now in the, now he's in the Cup Series. So, Yeah. <laughs> Almost, I think he almost won a couple times this year, or he was in, he was looking like he could win in a couple of races this year. But uh, yeah, um, and also it, it, it pains me because uh, in the 2018 playoffs, uh, Larson ran a um, ran a tribute scheme to the victims of the the shooting in Las Vegas that had happened. And, uh, I think the primary sponsor of that car was DC Solar. And I actually have that die cast, um, somewhere. <laughs> it's either on my treasure drawers or it's in one of, it's in my case. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that car is kind of cursed when you think about it in, in terms of the paint scheme. But, uh, but anyway, with all that being said, 
Uh, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to use code ANJJ free shipping on orders of $20 or more at Circle B Diecast. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.